everybody. I'm Father Pete McCormick, and welcome to Legend or Myth. Legend has it on this exact spot. Back in 1913, Newt Rockney invented the forward pass. Is it a legend or is it a myth? Let's go find out. The year was 1913. Woodrow Wilson was president of the United States. A Ford Model T car cost about $500 and Notre Dame had just finished its 25th year of playing football. A small school in Northern Indiana, Notre Dame hired 29-year-old Jesse Harper from Wabash College to be the school's first athletic director, as well as its new football coach. Harper would be a visionary, an innovator, a daring coach who inherited a scrappy 25-year-old senior captain by the name of Newt Rockney and a 155-pound fleet-footed quarterback by the name of Gus DeRay. So where does the legend of Rockney and the Ford Pass come from? Time to check in with our friends in the University Archives. A lot of people are under the idea that Notre Dame invented the Forward Pass, because in the 1913 Army game it was used extensively and Notre Dame beat Army that game. But in, in reality, it had been in use for a number of years before that. But it was used in a, in a different way that game. Up until at that time, people would just go down the field, stop, and they'd try to throw the pass. Rockney said that players caught it like it was a medicine ball. So they tried more to throw it on the run. So you would, you would hit Rockney in stride. Dore was the quarterback and Rockney was the end. They had met early on in their careers at Notre Dame and we think they may have roomed together, although we're not really sure. They were definitely friends. Built in 1888, Soren Hall stands as one of the original dorms on the Notre Dame campus, a landmark on campus tours. In fact, at Notre Dame, you never know who you might find taking a tour. Hey guys, I'm Father Pete McCormick. How's Canute it going? Rock How do you do? Can Rockney is it like the Canute Rockney? Yes. Whoa, what's your name? Dave Duray. Oh. Grandson of Gus. <laughs> it just keeps getting better and better. <laughs> and Duray Salman, what? granddaughter of Gus. Oh and I'm Dale Rockney. Oh, it's nice to meet you. Well, you guys look like you're lost. We're trying to find Soren Hall and we're, we're specifically looking for the room where our grandfathers were roommates when they came to Notre Dame. Okay, well you're on the right spot. Soren Hall and Soren College are all one and the same. If you got some time, I'd love to take you in. Oh, we're doing great. We love it. Sean, what's up, man? Hey, how you doing, Good. Good, thanks. Hey, we're looking for a room where Newt Rockney and Gus Ray would live. Do okay. you have any idea where that might be? You know, it just might tell me. So come on, this is the room number 11, the famous room we were telling you about. As you can see, it's right in the corner of the building, too. I wonder if that's the window. These Remember windows that? are rather famous. Yeah, <laughs> <they're> <laughs> famous <laughs> windows. Because <laughs> Grandpa and Gus DeRay would go and charge people to sneak in and out of the dorm, and they'd go through one of these windows. They would make money. Yep. People who were out after curfew could sneak in ah, back on the window. A little and sneak in. There was a two-way toll, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 As the story goes, the summer before 13th season, they had had jobs at Cedar Point, and they practiced the forward pass all summer long, and so that's what developed. Harper had used the forward pass in his previous job at Wabash, so I, I think he wanted to introduce it to Notre Dame, and he, he knew that at the beginning. So I think that's why he encouraged them to spend the summer doing that. Even though Harper was hired at Notre Dame in December, he didn't really come to campus until that following summer because of his obligations at Wabash. So he didn't really get to have a relationship with the team and he was relying on Rockney and Gus Doré to be together over the summer and work out these techniques. Imagine it's 1913. Newt Rockney and Gus Doré, lifeguards at Cedar Point, running along the banks of Lake Erie, practicing this new concept running pass patterns, catching the ball in stride. It seems second nature now, but a hundred years ago, it was revolutionary. Like our own Civil War reenactment, we brought the great-grandsons of Rockney and DeRay back to Sandusky, to the banks of Lake Erie, to reenact the summer a hundred years ago, practicing the forward pass in the sand over and over again. From the beach a hundred years ago, to the practice field today. Tell me about yourself. How often do you guys practice? We're out here throwing uh, just about every day of the week. 
What about the timing? How difficult is it to get timing down? But once you get it down, it's pretty easy to stay consistent with, but it'll take probably our entire summer just to get it down and get it right. crisp every play. Summer practice. Did the summer of 1913 pay off for Rockney, DeRay, Jesse Harper, and the Notre Dame football team? You bet it did. Just months later, Notre Dame stunned the college football world, unveiling this new open field passing attack and upsetting Army 35-13. It was the game that changed the way college football was played. So what did we learn? Did Newt Rockney invent the forward pass? Nope, it's a myth. Did Jesse Harper, Gus DeRay, and Newt Rockney perfect it? Absolutely, and that's the legend. See you next time.